So we are finally back with Muppets Monster Adventure. I really want to say Muppets Monster Mash, but that's not the name of it. I have actually forgotten all the controls. So if we're coming up against a boss, because this one is called Poker Face and it has a guillotine, we are screwed. Really screwed. It does not look like a boss, thank God. Like, I'm gonna drink my coffee. Ola, where's Ola, man? There he is. He's over there, isn't he? Right. We don't want to swim in that. No, 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 no. I still don't know why this evil energy is stars. I don't get it. Right, what was that? I just saw something. It was a heart. Right, can we get up here? I can't remember if I can double jump. <gasps> I can't remember anything about this game. How do I fly? Ah, like that. Okay, so it's triangle. Hiya. Hola. Hola. I never get tired of that. Let me do it then. Hola. Okay, one more time. Oh, God. It makes me so happy. What do you got to say, buddy? That love is some hot stuff again. If you fall in, this will be one very, very short game again. Okay. Okay, I will try and avoid falling in it. Yeah, so I'm not, like, I don't hate the game. It's just when you play all three together, gosh, it feels like it's the same game over and over and over. It's like, I swear I've done this before. And then it's like, oh no, I did this in um, Stuart Little 2. Three more Girl Monster Amulet pieces so you can start getting pushy. Ooh, I'm gonna get pushy, guys. Show them what I'm really like. I can be pushy when I wanna be. How do I hit this guy? I think it's a, there we go. Right, how do I hit you? Do I just, I can't get up. Spin. There we go. I still can't tell sometimes which ones I'm supposed to spin and which ones I'm supposed to shoot. Because, I don't know. I'm just stupid, I guess. Right, I can run, can't I? I forgot I can run. Hello. I do like the little animations, though. It's very similar to Spyro, where they have stuff like they're asleep, and then as you get closer, they jump all like, and come and attack you. That's pretty cool. Hey, ah. God, you guys really aren't any sort of uh, trouble, are you? <laughs> Every time I play a game, seriously, every time I say, this isn't too hard, something happens. Like, when me and Starzy play Dead by Daylight, I always say, you know what, Stars? Jokingly, I go, I bet it's Michael. And she goes, down, every time you say it, it's always Michael. And guess what? It always bloody is. Every single time. It's like he knows. Right, I want that cur monster piece. You only need two, two more, more pieces, pieces of the cur monster, monster amulet, eh? I do like uh, Pepe. He's kind of growing on me. I did miss the hola. Hola. And I love the fact that's all everyone's doing in the bloody Discord now. They just keep going, hola. You guys are crazy. Come back. I need that. Thank you very much. We will save your Uncle Kerman. You mean Kermit? Yes, what I said, Kerman. I didn't realize, like, how humorous Muppets was. Like, I never really watched it as a kid. And a lot of people seem to think I had an awful childhood because I didn't watch the Muppets. And I don't know many of the names. I know them now. Someone explained them to me. Actually, I think many people explained them. I think there was Gonzo with the nose in it. That guy jumping. When I, when I jump, I mean, sorry, he's there. Uh, who else was there? Oh, I've forgotten. <laughs> I don't like that sometimes. There we go. What was the bear called? F Fozzie Bear? I keep wanting to say Faz Bear, like Five Nights at Freddy's, but I'm guessing that's where they maybe got it from. Wait, what did that open? I wasn't paying attention. Did it open something over here? I didn't actually look. It's kind of bad, isn't it? You really need to kind of watch these things. I keep mocking these games for always showing me where I'm, I've got to go, like I'll click a button, they'll go, let's zoom over here and show you where the door is. Like Treasure Planet's awful for that. But then equally I don't pay attention, then I go, wait, where was it? <laughs> Do you only need one more piece, piece of the girl monster, monster amulet. Okay. <laughs> he honestly makes this game. Otherwise this game would be, it'd be all right, but it'd be kind of like same old thing I've seen before. Okay, oh shit. Oh no, yeah. Ha, you thought you had me, didn't you? Aha. Oh wait, no, this is a checkpoint, isn't it? Checkpoint, checkpoint. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Please, developers, never make your characters go checkpoint, checkpoint every three seconds. It's actually really bloody annoying. Right, Bono. We got Bone. No, we got Bo. We got Bo. There we go. Right. <laughs> Congratulations, okay? Now you can use the power of Germanster to push and pull heavy objects. Get out there and throw your weight around, okay? Oh, okay, he doesn't actually. I keep forgetting that when he explains the monster abilities, he doesn't say what's on the screen. Okay, I'm sure I can work that out. I'll just mash the buttons until something works, sure. I think the other problem with playing games like um, Treasure Planet, Muppets Monster Adventure, Stuart Little 2, they're not bad games, like I say, but I feel like once I've already done kind of one part, like a part one, I've kind of seen all the gimmicky things about the game. Does that make sense? Like, you know, once you've seen everything, you've seen the gimmicky graphics, like dodgy graphics, you've seen the stupid mechanics. It's funny to laugh about the first time, but then the second time you play, you're like, well, it's more or less the same thing. I mean, do I keep laughing about the same thing or do I just leave it? This is why normally when I play games, I actually only do like a one-off, like a kind of first impressions 
video rather than a whole let's play. But you guys seem to be enjoying me doing the let's play series, so I don't mind doing them. Plus it's kind of relaxing just to have one game that's a staple all the time. The only problem with- oh, I should have jumped on that. Whoopsie. Idiot. Anyway, going back. Yeah, as I said, the only problem I have with first impressions is that you constantly feel like you're struggling to find another game. Like, you play one thing, you've done it that day, the next day you need a new game to play, and like, oh god, I'm running out of ideas, you know? And there's only so many bad games in the world. Like, there are many, many bad games, but there's still a finite amount, you know? And it also depends on if I can get a hold of them. A lot of people seem to have problems with me emulating games. But they don't seem to understand I live in a country where we don't have anything like eBay or Amazon actually paying to get like a console to play the games on as well as the games themselves, assuming they work and they're not broken, would cost a fortune because we have to courier everything because our postal service just robs everything. It's a lot of money. Thank you for making prawn again. You do not want to be broiled again. So, time your chance here carefully again. Here carefully, okay, okay. Yeah, so like I think... I was looking at the prices of getting a PS1 console, getting a PS1 console, getting the games I wanted to play, bear in mind that's a new game every day like I said, and also couriering it, and if you go about what minimum wage is here, which is actually pretty terrible to begin with, you're probably looking at half your minimum wage, maybe less, like maybe a third, but still quite a lot, and we have obviously, my husband and I, we have a house to pay for, we have um, bills to pay, we've got to look after the doggies, we still want to have money to actually treat ourselves every so often, so it's not always money spare for me to uh, just buy every single game I want to play. I'd love to have a whole collection, I'd love to have an entire room with shelves and shelves of like classic games, but unfortunately I am poor. Maybe one day in the future I'd have like an amazing collection, that would be great. But yeah, for now I'll just have to settle with emulating, so yeah, sorry about that, I know it does bother people. It's not that I don't want to support these companies and the developers and stuff, but I just physically can't afford to. Plus some of these games are so bloody old! Clearly it is a Tory ranting day today. Where do I go? I'm slightly confused. Is there somewhere else I can go? Ha <laughs> ha! Up here? Have I missed something? Oh no, here. Okay. My bad. I did miss something. I was not using my eyes. Hiya! There we go. I was hoping he was gonna do the spin while midair, but apparently he has to come out the bat form first, which means he kind of just Stops. <laughs> right, what's this? Oh, hello. Do you remember that Soul Reaver puzzle where you had to push the blocks in the spider vampire place? But you had to also flip them over so they were the right way around? Gosh, that puzzle like stressed me out. Like the puzzle wasn't difficult, but the fact it was the spiders constantly spawning trying to stop you was like, no. Right, what you got to say, Pepe? Come on, baby, that's my fire, okay? Come on, baby, that's my fire, okay? That's not what it says. It will take more than your cutter monster powers eh, to solve this puzzle. Put out the three fire jets and statues by moving the blocks into their correct places. To help you, your power glove attack now flip. Oh, okay, so it is exactly like that um, Soul Reaver puzzle. <laughs> I thought as much. Right, so then we push it. Pu push it. Right, go. No, 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 push it there. Now let go. Now push it that way. Well, oh, this is going to be annoying, I can tell. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, do we get, like, is the timer for every single one? Oh, thank God, I was gonna say, bloody hell. Right, so this is in the wrong place. Actually, let's go, okay, no, let's, let's do this one. Yeah, push him that way. Right, and now push him People. all the way over there. I can't push him. What, what the hell? People. I'm trying to, okay, so pushing down moves it this way. That's very confusing on the, uh, Directional pad. It's really hard to, to see what you're doing sometimes. Right, push up. That is really confusing. That should be a bit more... I don't know what the word is, but you know what I'm gonna say. Okay, there we go. Right. Just the Miss Piggy one to go. We want to push it this way. That way. Right. And now, push. There we go. See, it doesn't quite correlate to which way you're pushing it. So if you're looking sideways, you still have to push up. Also, Raziel could push things left and right. He didn't have to push it forwards and backwards only. Which is a little bit better, but never mind. It is a kid's game and it wasn't that difficult. See, you did it! You got a world roller! Okay. I love how the okay never gets added on. It's just kind of a thing he yeah. says, like a nervous dick. Okay. These are quite cool levels, though. I like how much detail's in them. See, one problem I had with Treasure Planet, which I believe, I'm gonna keep saying it's the same developers. I'm sure it is, Magenta Software. The problem I had with the levels there is they felt really kind of empty, and I couldn't decide whether it was because everything was just brown and grey, which was kind of disappointing for a sci-fi 
Disney film about aliens and spaceships and stuff. But yeah, it felt very, very bare. Whereas this actually looks quite pretty. Like, I quite like the look of these levels. I mean, it's not the most amazing graphics, but it's certainly colourful and fun. Which, you know, it should be. It's about the Muppets with horror Halloween elements and stuff. It should be muchly funly. So yeah, I'm sorry if I'm just going on and on and on about nothing in particular and you guys are like, just get on with the game! Stop talking, Tori! Nobody cares about your problems! My husband would say I rant a lot, but he lies, so don't listen to him. Never believe his lies. Beep bop. What does he actually say when he turns into the cur monster? Does he go, it sounds like he goes, beep bop! Cowboy beep bop. Waka waka woo! I do love waka waka woo. It makes me happy. I get the awoo bit, because that's like a wolf. Awoo! But waka waka woo is just strange, you know? Bonus. I got a bonu. Wait, hang on. Have I missed N? Where the hell was N then? I didn't see N. Hmm. How far up can I go? Wait, can I just... Does this work? I don't know if I'm going to make it. I made it. Phew! Right, I've got to be careful here. I don't want to like... Oh no, I can't charge in this game. Why do I keep thinking I'm charging? Every single game feels like Spyro. Oh, no, there go all the... Thingies. Please tell me the end's here. That's not the end. Oh, where's the end then? I'm gonna assume it's up here somewhere. Oh, I like the way he jumps though. That feels really smooth on the stairs. I like that. Right. Oh yes, it was. No, waka waka wool. No, not waka waka wool. But okay. I panicked. I tried to press square. I got the S, but not the N. Here. Oh. Waka waka wool. I love saying that though. As terrifying as it is to see that wolf, waka waka wool is a funny thing to say. That should be my catchphrase when I smack people in the head. Waka waka woo! Eh? You could just tell me the game, why don't you? Don't let me work it out, Pepe. What you're looking for is another switch again. It's very nice of this uh, lava spewing balls of fire to uh, take turns on which side it pops out on so I can get across, you know? Very thoughtful lava. Right, here's the last switch. Oh wait, hang on, I want this. Yeah. I don't trust these games. I feel like if I don't cl collect the item there, It'll uh, take me to the end of the level bit. Okay, you're done now, bye. Like, no, wait, I have stuff to find. Still haven't found the end, though. I'll have to go back, I think. But I don't wanna. Wait, hang on, this is the end of the level, so... Where could the end be? I didn't see any other way to go, but then again, I wasn't really looking. I kind of just assume I'm gonna walk into them at some point. Do you know what I mean? Hmm... I can't leave without the end. It's gonna bug me. Right, let's go see. Let's go see if we can find it. Waka waka woo and all that jazz. You sneaky bloody game! Ha! Oh, that's sneaky. I didn't even realise this was here. Oh, mind you, we couldn't have done anything anyway because we needed to get the cur monster thingy, so. Hee haw! I swear he's trying to do a donkey impression. Hee haw! Oh, heave ho! What the fuck? What? Oh my god, what is this? Hang on, something's just appeared. An important update. Fucking hell. I hate when things just pop up on my computer. HP support assistant. I love this. So they came up saying, um, we've installed an important update on your computer. Interrupts my gameplay. And then has the audacity to have a checkbox right next to the OK that if you don't read says, you are happy for us to like send you information and stuff to your email address. Fuck off. I'll tell you who's really bad for it as well. Windows. Windows is terrible. You install something from Windows and normally when you have that checkbox to say you agree to everything, if you actually read it properly, you're not actually agreeing to the terms and services of what you installed. You're actually agreeing to install McAfee. You don't actually have to click that box at all. And that pisses me off so much because there's so many people. Like, yeah, I know people can say, oh, read it and don't be stupid. But there's a lot of old people that don't know any better. And that really annoys me. Sorry, I'm just having a rant now. But that really annoys me, you know? Like fish in a barrel, okay? Oh, not this again. Use your chickens to shoot down all the targets. I meant not this as in he's not reading it. Blah, 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 okay. Press X to stay on target or triangle to miss the bullseye. What does that mean? I think he just meant start the minigame. What am I doing? Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. Okay. Just throw all the fucking chickens. I missed. I missed. Oh my god, this feels horrible. These poor chickens though. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This is worse than the Treasure Planet ones. Come on. One more! One more! Oh my god! That was really hard to control in the directional pad. I had to swap to the analog stick. So go get your Muppet token, okay? Go get your Muppet token, okay? Okay, give it to me. Give it to me, you big bad boy. You have collected enough Muppet tokens to open the next Muppet Monster boss, okay? Oh god, thank god I got that one then. If I'd left this level, I'd have to come back. 
because I wouldn't have enough, would I? I had the same problem on Treasure Planet. I went to go fight Scroop, and there's the M. Yeah, I went to go fight Scroop, but couldn't because I didn't have enough stupid token things. And the bonus is... I do not know where that is. I'm assuming that's somewhere I haven't been, because there's stars to collect still. What's, what's Beaker have to say? Do you have to say anything? Why, why are you just standing here, then? Oh my god, I'm so sorry! Beaker, no! Why did I do that? That was so evil! Beaker, I'm sorry! I thought you were broken! <laughs> I love how he's just flying around the map going, Mimi, me, Mimi. Me, me. <laughs> Robin, come on, Beaker didn't deserve that. He's a sweet, innocent boy. Cause baby, you're a firework. So off key and I don't care. Right, so, oh, hang on, we can get the last one now, can't we? Mimo. <laughs> hang on, where was the bonus box then? Was that supposed to be the bonus box over there? Because I thought I opened the bone. Oh no, the bonus box smashes. Oh, I don't feckin' know. Right, we're gonna leave this one though and go on to the, I guess the boss, I think. I think it's the boss and then I'm probably gonna leave that here because I feel like these levels are gonna start getting longer, you know? Right, here we go. Oh wait, hang on. I missed a star. That's no good. Thank you. Got 963 now. Whee! Castle von Honeydew Nosferatu bites back, still morphed. Okay, don't know what that means, but sure, let's go. Let's go do this boss and then probably leave it here. I love this psychedelic Stargate thing though. Whee! Oh shit, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Be careful, okay? The skeletons have a bone to pick with you, okay? So try to avoid them, okay? Same goes for Nosferatu's fables. Stay out of their way if you don't want to pick up a froggy for us, okay? I said that you can chase them down with your chicken meat sauce, which I'm supposed to stop being a pain in the neck, okay? Okay, sure. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. Lucky for me. Why, why does he say it, but Pepe doesn't say anything? Do you think, like, the uh, voice actor for Pepe just finally got fed up? He's like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I can't be bothered anymore. Hang on. What is this? This is just Tiny Tiger. With the lions. Keep moving, okay? go, 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 go. I don't really have to go, 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 go. He's not exactly doing much. My nose is starting to itch because my glasses are tickling my face. I'm going to have to take them off. Ugh. Are we doing something here? I don't get it. Am I supposed to hit them or something? Okay. That was kind of boring. Now what? Am I meant to hit them? I don't think so. I don't get it. <laughs> This is very long wind. Hang on, can I knock them back? Oh, hang on, chicken. Chicken, come come here, you little fucker. Okay, I got him. I have to do that twice more. Bloody hell. What an interesting fight. Do, do, do. Na, 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 na. Give me that chicken. Ah, okay. I missed. I'm trying, I, I really am. I mean, my dad says I'm really, really trying, but I'm trying, I swear. It's not a bad fight, it's pretty colourful if you can say that about a boss fight, but there's not exactly a lot going on, is there? Oh, well, it is a game for kids, Tori, what do you expect? I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying I was expecting more. Haha. 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 -ha. I'm loving copying him right now. If I keep doing it, he'll get annoyed with me eventually, and he'll be like, you little fucker. Oh, that was difficult. <laughs> I like the mountains in the background though, that's pretty. Hey Gonzo, how you feeling? Thanks, Robin. I prefer my flying with a cannon. I hit walls harder that way. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Sweet, okay. I mean okay. Every time I say okay now I have to go okay. So we need to get a thousand, thirteen hundred. And then, but we can do all the Deadlands Grave Matters. That does sound pretty fun, but we're going to leave it for another episode. So yeah, sorry if it was a little bit short, but if you did enjoy it, please leave a like as it really helps me out. And peace out, guys. Shout out to supporters, Claxon, Thomas Hinton, Jeffrey Thomas, Ray Zach, Zugador, Ross Ward, Samuel DeBoss, Poplio the Destroyer, Morendor, Trevor, and Tero Yoronen. Thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel, whether it's on Patreon with the donations every month, whether it's on YouTube if you're a member, or if you just watch every single video I make. Always leave a comment, always like, share the video with your friends. I know a couple of people do that, so thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, and it helps get the word out about Tori Dory, the crazy lady from Britain. So yeah, thank you so much once again from the bottom of my heart, and ta-ta!